Tiddlywinks. Welcome to Tiddlywinks. And uh, hello, welcome from Mr. Tiddlywinks himself. And welcome from little Ted. He says hello. So shall we start by saying the Tiddlywinks prayer together? What do we do when we're going to pray? Well, we have to put our hands together. Mr. Tiddlywinks has got wings. So he can't put them together very well, but he's going to try. And so he's going to go down there and we put our hands together like that. And we shut our eyes and little Ted's got his eyes shut already. And we shut our eyes and let's say the Tiddlywinks prayer. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Be my guide in all I do and bless all those who love me too. Amen. So we heard a few weeks ago over the last few weeks about how God made the world and how he made it really beautiful and God loves everything that he's made in the world. Now God needs people to look after the world so how can we help God by looking after his beautiful world? Well one thing we can do is we can be kind to animals. Have you got a pet? Mr Tiddlywinks has got a pet. What's your pet then? I think he's got another little bird as a pet. Anyway, we have to look after our pets. Have you got a dog? Have you got a cat or a hamster? If you have, you have to be very kind to them and look after them and feed them, don't you? Be very gentle with them too. Uh, God wants us to look after the plants and the flowers that we see in the park and in the garden. He wants us to be very gentle with the plants and to look after them. And sometimes we have to water them. And God wants us to be kind to our families as well. He wants us to help people and be kind to the people that we live with. That's a very important way of looking after God's world, helping God. Now, do you remember that we have a special book that tells us all about God? It's the Bible. And this is our Tiddlywinks Bible. It's called the Beginner's Bible. And in here, it tells us that God needs people to help him. And he chose a special family to look after his beautiful world. And one person in that family was a man called Abraham. There he is. One day, God told Abraham to go on a long journey. So let's listen to the story. There was once a good man called Abraham. God had a special plan for him. God told Abraham to move to a new land. So Abraham left the place where he lived. He packed up everything that he had, his tents, his dishes, his clothes. He gathered all his animals and he went to the new land that God showed him. Can you see the, the camel carrying all the luggage and all the other luggage there that Abraham's got to take with him? Abraham's wife, Sarah, and his nephew, Lot, went with him. Abraham and Lot also brought along helpers to take care of their animals. So there they all are on their camels going on a long journey. Abraham moved his animals and his family. He set up tents near the big trees at Hebron. See the pretty tents under the trees? That's where Abraham and his family lived and all his animals. God made a promise to Abraham. He said, you will have so many children and grandchildren and great grandchildren that no one will be able to count them. And all the land that you see right now will be yours and all those children will look after the beautiful world that God made. Well we heard in the story didn't we that Abraham and his family lived in tents and they had lots and lots of animals and uh, they had sheep and goats and camels and all sorts of animals. So we're going to, to remind us that Abraham went on a big journey and he lived in a tent. We're going to make a tent like this. So th this is a tent and we can, I'll show you how to make a tent like this. 
So first thing you need to do is get a piece of paper, A4 piece of paper, cut it in half into two pieces, cut along there. So you need to ask somebody in your family to cut it for you. Then when you've got a strip like this, fold it into three and do a, put a little extra fold at the end like that for sticking it. So that will be able to stand up like a tent, you see, like that. Now before we make it stand up, we have to decorate it. So we flatten it out again and we can, I'm going to use these bits of material to stick on. They're just little scraps of, you can either use material or you can use bits of tissue paper or anything like that. So put, look, put a bit of glue on two of them, those two. glue around it like that, just on those two, not on the one that's got the little fold, because that's going to be the floor of the tent. And then we can stick, I've got lots of different blue bits, so you can get some different kind of pretty paper or pretty material, whatever you use, it will be lovely. And when it's, when, we, when it's all covered up with lots of pretty bits of, of colour, we're not quite there yet. There we are. I think that will do. Maybe need another one down there. That's it. Then, so there, you've got lots of bits of pretty tent material covering up the roof of the tent. And then, we put it like that. And we put some glue along there. So that when we stand it up, press it together, and there is a tent. Now I don't really know if it's exactly like the tent that Abraham lived in, but it's a sort of tent. And then we know that Abraham had lots of sheep, so I'm going to put a sheep inside the tent there. So there we are, Abraham's tent and Abraham's sheep. So we're going to have a song now. So I'll see you back here after the song. Bye for now.
Did you enjoy the song? Did you join in? That's all from Tiddlywinks today, so we're going to finish with a prayer. So let's put our hands together and close our eyes, ready to talk to God. Dear Lord God, thank you for sending Abraham and his family to look after your beautiful world. Thank you that you loved Abraham and you looked after him. Thank you that you love me and you look after me too. Amen. Well, Mr Tiddlywink's coming back now. And he's come to say goodbye. So, bye-bye. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Christchurch, 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 you Oh, yeah.